uh, animals. Lots of pet owners are using this on their uh, uh, dogs, cats, whatever, for uh, hip dysplasia, for all sorts of uh, arthritis. Uh, there was a, a veterinarian, Texas A&M, called me up, said that he wanted to find something to treat heartworm in cats because the medicine that they have for the cat heart, heartworm kills the cat as often as it does the heartworm. Not a good thing. He reasoned out that, well, you know, p parasites, parasites are exogenous proteins. They're proteins that don't belong in the body. As I mentioned before, it's like having a steak floating around in your bloodstream. So he reasoned that these are exogenous proteins. The enzymes should eat them. So he started feeding this very, very, very sick cat systemic enzymes. And lo and behold, a few weeks later, I don't remember how many weeks, he gives me a ring and says, I just MRI'd this cat. We just scoped it. We did all sorts of stuff. Uh, not a trace of parasites anywhere. The heartworms are gone. The cat is happy. It's healthy and it's jumping around. Cool. Also from the vets we learned that, you know, we recommend that you take the enzymes away from food half an hour before, an hour after. The label says 45 minutes. You don't have to be quite that much of a stickler. Any, anywhere, anytime you've got a fairly empty stomach. But we know from the veterinary work that even if you do have to take it with food, it'll still work. You may lose some of the effects, but you won't lose an awful heck of a lot. And here's the, one of the only warnings I have about the systemic enzymes. In some folks, and I think it's because of the reason of that yeast die-off that I spoke of before, they'll get a bit of agita, stomach aches, from taking the systemic enzymes. Most of those folks will be okay if they blend it with a light carbohydrate meal, half a bagel, a bowl of cereal, whatever else, something without a lot of protein. They just mask it with something. No stomach aches, and they're fine. Not, every, not everyone will have the same results. Your results may vary. <laughs> uh, but the idea here is the stuff works. Once you find what I call your activation dose, and this was a question that, that was posed here before, you find your activation dose by trying the minimum dose for three days. That doesn't work. Add one more per dose. Do that for three days. Just keep on playing with it until you find your activation dose. After you're there for a while and you're feeling better, you can try bringing it down again. But increase the enzymes. They won't hurt you. There is no LD50. There's no toxic level of enzymes. Keep on playing with it. 